Hey guys, Will or Lolio here, and today I'm showing you a bit more of the Tanan Jungle intro, specifically the very opening sequence, the Battle of the Dark Portal. So the quests here tell you to shut it down, that's the main goal of the Horden Alliance forces, but uh, I decided to just kind of explore the area, because I wanted to see if they put any details in there, and they actually did. Uh, the first thing I noticed was you'll see a lot of NPCs fighting off against the Iron Horde, uh, big names like Khadgar and Thrall, which are quest givers right at the start, uh, along with guys like Murad and Lady Leodrin. But you'll also see a lot of friendly NPCs that are seemingly just based off of players or random people. I heard some of them are actually just copies of random players' armories, and uh, those are the ones with titles, I think. Uh, some of these are also based on developers, like Mumper, the lead content designer, as an NPC. Overall, I think this battle is actually a, a pretty awesome set piece, and they'll definitely look better when they actually texture the Dark Portal right now. It's just kind of a gray, blocky area. Uh, but it definitely reminds me of the opening to Burning Crusade, you know, where the uh, Pit Commander and all the Legion forces uh, come up along the Path of Glory and you fight them off. This is obviously in the same location, Tanan Jungle being Hellfire Peninsula, but it looks very different and you get a different feel, but you can also kind of, you know, reminisce and be like, yeah, this reminds me of that moment in BC. I noticed occasionally waves of enemies will spawn an attack. It's not just the orcs uh, down below. You'll actually see some Gronlings, which I guess are a new type of Gron uh, that'll just come in and start attacking people. And the Siege Gron in the back that the Iron Horde guys have, you might have saw them in the, uh, I think the initial Warlords uh, trailer. They showed some Iron Horde Gron, and those are here. They're shooting cannons, and Cadgar actually blocks the uh, the cannonballs with spell shields, which is pretty cool. I tried to go in and attack the uh, the Gron in the back, but you actually can't. Uh, they're not targetable, and if you go too close, Cadgar just ports you back to the beginning, unfortunately. So the important NPCs like Murad and Thrall, they actually do fight at certain points. They don't just stand around the whole time. Uh, Murad runs down and he kind of glows with light. I mean, he's a paladin, so. That makes sense, like he grows wings, and he just, you know, starts wrecking Iron Horde. And Thrall, he occasionally will shoot lightning down the stairs, um, but the big thing he does is sometimes he'll run down the stairs and he'll just use, like, this big earth move where he'll impale all of the Iron Horde guys on rocks, and they're all dead for, like, 20 seconds or so, and then they all respawn, but it's pretty cool for that moment. Overall, I think this whole battle is a nice intro to the expansion. It's, you know, a lot better than... I think the, uh, well, the Cataclysm intro, which was really bad. The Pandaria one I thought was okay, but this one, it seems very unified, it seems like an, an awesome intro, and obviously you're not intended to just stand around here for an hour like I did. You should be questing and you'll move out of this area within like 5-10 minutes, but I think it is worth spending a few minutes to just look around and kind of see all the NPCs, and like, they gave them some funny names, like there's an orc hunter, I think, named Money Shot. Um, you know, they named him after players, I think, or just things like that. It makes it feel like part of the world, and actually, you know, they put some effort into it, and so I think it's worth taking a look around for a few minutes before we move on in quest. Anyway, that's all for me for now. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.